I apologize if the lighting is terrible. I know the lighting's not great, and I apologize for that. But we do what we have to. Nothing is holding you back now. After their first attempt at getting Pearl to remember fails, Stephen and Co. hatches a new plan. They realize that Pearl really only started to grow after Rose gave her life to create Stephen. So, to let her grow again, and remember who she is, they have to make Greg disappear. And to do this, Stephen and Greg fuse. With Greg now gone, Pearl can actually begin to be more independent. She and Steg, the fusion of Stephen and Greg, sing this song about how Pearl no longer has anyone telling her what to do. She's her own master and can do whatever she wants. No one is pushing her around anymore. And this song is actually successful. Pearl remembers who she is, and she even fuses with Amethyst to sing with Steg. But despite the fact that the song is successful, the song doesn't have the most satisfying of ends. Basically, the ending chord doesn't have a note of finality to it, something that you expect from most songs, and certainly something that you expect from a song with such a positive outcome to it. However, Steg sees the giant injector that Spinel flew in on and stabbed into the earth and is, you know, kind of pumping liquid into it that is slowly killing the Earth, and it distracts them enough that they unfuse. Not to mention the fact that Steven is still having problems with his gem because he was also affected by the same weapon that Spinel used to attack the other gems and revert them back to their old selves. So although by the end of the song Pearl does remember who she is, this song still has kind of a bittersweet feeling to it. So that is it for this week's song. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to promise that I'll be back next week with another song, because next week Veds will be over, but we'll see what happens. But either way, I will see everybody tomorrow. Independent together, you and I.